Hello everyone, today I am playing the System Shock pre-alpha demo. Uh, this demo just got released on Linux uh, last night for me. Um, and yeah, I just had to give this game a shot. Oh, game audio is bugging out. There is one annoying issue with this game I've uh, experienced where if you alt-tab out, uh, the audio gets a little buggy here, so just let me relaunch that real quick. Very annoying issue, but yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a remake or a remaster, I guess you could say, of the original System Shock. Uh, this remastered is being brought to us by Night Dive Studios, which, if you know them, uh, they re released a couple of classic games, including System Shock. They re released them onto Steam. You also have games like I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, which has been uh, republished by them. So yeah, pretty cool company, uh, they have good taste in games, and yeah, as you can see, even for a pre-alpha game, as you see at the bottom right, this is a pre-alpha build, it looks pretty damn good. Uh, and if you've ever played the original System Shock, then you recognize this area. You know, as you can see, you could even read the little uh, screen here. The game runs alright, uh, unfortunately, these are the only real options you get in the uh, Pre-alpha, you only really get to adjust the volume, you get to adjust some basic graphic options, uh, and then you get to adjust a little bit of some controls, um, gamepad stuff over here. People have uh, said on the Reddit that if you uh, want to adjust the video quality, you actually have to do it from a text file. Once again, pre-alpha. But yeah, the game just looks incredibly good, and it starts out just like the original System Shock does, um, although obviously it looks a lot better. Um, and yeah, and for a Unity game, this is just surprisingly well looking. Um, performance is definitely pretty heavy right now, but you know, uh, not the greatest frame rates right I'm getting right now, but at the same time, you know, it's pre alpha. So I'm sure they'll optimize it in the final release. Uh, this game was kickstarted. I believe, where were they at? They were at something like uh, 900,000 they needed, and they got a little over 1 million and something. Uh, so the game's definitely coming out, confirmed coming out for Linux. Got All right. My name is Lansing, if you've ever played the first one, then you're right, uh, familiar with her. Also have leaning, just like the original game. Oh. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this door. So yeah, the combat's a little uh, simple right now. Um, you just sort of bash things <laughs> until they're dead. Then you can uh, loot them. Oh, we had a soda can. Usually these robots didn't have uh, arms in them. This is a, actually a health recharge station. So yeah, there's just... Uh, really, the whole game just looks really good. And the sound uh, design is really good as well. It's very atmospheric. There's all kinds of sound sci-fi noises going on. Like, you know, just lights humming and... Um, you know, just sparks flying off, uh, flying everywhere. And it's just really nice. But that guy didn't look like he uh, had a good time. Oh yeah, someone told me that, how you hit the body and it makes like a glass noise, or a, like you're hitting a wall or glass, that's funny. Um, you have a, ooh, that's not good. Poor guy. Crushed soda can. Yeah, right now, uh, a lot, it seems like a lot of the items are placeholders, like you just have a lot of junk. That's all you can really, uh, get from bodies and stuff currently. So you have sprinting. You interact, you interact with things with right click, which I actually kind of like. Um, I was used to it being E, but after uh, playing it like this, I actually kind of like using uh, right-click for interactions. It's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, and you can actually right-click on things and examine certain objects. Uh, you come up to here, and this is actually a... Uh, oh, grenades. Put that in my hotbar. Go up to here and you actually have this station that recharges your uh, blue bar there under your health. If you look at the top right, you have your health and then you have the, uh, I guess, I forgot what it was called in the original game, I think. 
uh, Psy or something like that. It's basically your psychic abilities. We have cameras, which if you've ever played the original, you hate cameras. <laughs> they haven't implemented uh, cameras the same way they did in the original yet. Uh, let's get this is just a demo, so um, they didn't go that far yet, but she's okay. Interesting enough, you actually have to look at the numbers and then uh, click them, which is different than in some games where you click on it and a little menu, a little screen just comes up and you enter the passcode there. Preserve boosters. Uh, I to use my. Yeah, there we go. I just used that item. Oh, whoa. I actually, I really like the voice of the, the new showdown. I think, I don't know if they got the original uh, voice actress uh, to redo a role as showdown, but it definitely sounds like it. Yeah, that's the, the interesting thing about this game is they got a lot of people from the uh, original game to uh, work on it. And they also got, um, I think Brian Fargo, I don't know if Brian Fargo was one of the developers of... Uh, the original System Shock, but I do know that the Brian Fargo was behind uh, the original Wastelands and the Wastelands Remaster, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I remember in the Kickstarter they mentioned that he's, um... Oh, Empty Medicine Box, nice. That he's actually working on this game, so that's super interesting. A little bit of interactable stuff right there. Oh! Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Can I actually, like, move these? Grenade. Yeah, grenades don't seem to... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I remember last time I tried that, I couldn't get it to work. There we go. This part is probably the most um, weird part, because, you know, you're not really hinted at what to do here, but you're just supposed to right-click on these little things here. And then, that sh I think that, that should open it up. There we go. So, yeah. It's a little weird that they don't uh, hit about that. This is the first instance where your uh, Psy uh, can actually be used. You have a sidearm here. You can actually uh, adjust the power of it. Let's switch to it. What the hell? He's not switching to it. Um, or the tab. Uh, there we go. Press F to switch between the power. It's really dark. It's actually nice how kind of dark it is. Spider right there. Oh crap, one right there. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wow, that thing is tough. <laughs> Jeez, that thing is tough. Yeah, the repair bot's gone a little crazy. Pretty much everything on the station is uh, crazy and out to kill you. There we go. I think I have to shoot the spider in an exact spot to kill it quicker. Okay. Wish I had a flashlight of some sorts. I like how there's a little bit of blood coming off of him after shooting him. That looks pretty nice. Oh, switch to this. Get him. Uh oh. Wow, this thing is not very effective. There we go. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to switch to that. Get the thing out. There we go. Get him. Yeah, it seems like the, uh... Oh, it really seems like the Electro Weapon does not work good with them at all. Wow, that was really ineffective. Let me, uh, actually equip this so I can heal up. What does that do? Deals with fatigue, hmm. There we go, use the portable battery. Um, 
So as you can see, the game just looks really impressive right now, especially for a Unity game. And this uh, pre-alpha demo actually lasts for quite a bit. Enough to get a real uh, taste of the game. Yeah, so that's the uh, System Shock pre-alpha demo. It's pretty interesting. It requires a pretty beefy system unless you go into the file and, and turn it down. But even then, it's a pretty uh, demanding game. I'm interested to see uh, where it goes. The game's already been kickstarted. Linux version confirmed. So I'm really excited to play this game because I was a big fan of the original uh, System Shocks. But if you play them now, they, the controls and stuff, they, it's kind of difficult to play them because they feel a little dated. Uh, but they're still amazing games, you know, and I can't wait to play the remake um, or remaster, I guess you could say. Anyway, yeah, this has been uh, Ghost Squad 57 showing you guys the System Shock pre-alpha demo. Signing off.